Okay then guys, so hopefully some of that theory, some of that idea sunk in last time, but the more we go through it and the more we start to apply it, the easier it's gonna get to, to do, okay? So let's start by learning three shapes for the Dorian. Now, the cool thing here is that these shapes are gonna be very familiar. You're actually gonna know all of these shapes. As, as long as you know how to play the, the, the minor scale, the normal minor or major scale shapes, the full scale, we call it in the guitar skills, course, um, you're going to know these shapes because they're exactly the same shapes, they're just used differently. Okay, so here's shape number one. We're going to go like this. Okay, now basically let's just walk through it. Okay, so remember we're changing the F for F sharp all the way through the scale. So we've got A, B, C, D, E. And last time we talked about coming up here for the F sharp. Now for the sake of a scale shape, I'm gonna play the F sharp here instead. So on the D string, on the fourth fret, okay? It's just a nicer way to play it, okay? From then on in, we get the G note, then up to the A, okay? So there's our first octave. we're going to carry on through. So then we're going to go B, C, D, E, and think we would normally hit the F sharp, the F here in the natural minor, but we're going to do F sharp here. So there's a big, there's our big Dorian note, okay? There's the F sharp. Then of course G, A, and even though we're up a second octave, we're going to complete the shape by going B and C. So really slowly, here's the shape, and I'll count through the, uh, the numbers this time. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, raise six, seven, root, two, three, four, five, raise six, seven, root, two, three. Okay, and here's the shape in frets, five, seven, eight, five, seven, four, Five, seven, four, five, seven, five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight. Now, hopefully, some of you have clicked onto the fact that, oh, I know this shape. This is actually, I think of this as my shape three, okay, over my normal pentatonic shape three in the full scales, okay? If you've never studied that or you haven't looked at the guitar skills section where we've gone through that, then please do. Otherwise, just ignore this because it won't make any sense. But that is a shape you already should know. What we're doing is reapplying it to Dorian. So we use that shape over the pentatonic shape one. So remember, you know, we're still in A minor. We're still thinking like A minor here. So in terms of our pentatonics, we've got shape one, shape two, shape three, shape four, shape five, in exactly the same place they'd be in A minor. But when we go to the full scale, we're using a Dorian mode instead. So we're gonna apply this particular full scale shape over the top of pentatonic shape one. So what I want you to do with all these shapes, because now I'm just gonna whiz through the next two, is I want you to be playing the pentatonic first, shape one, and then I want you to play the new Dorian scale shape. Targeting that F sharp. Okay, you can even have a little play around with it. You know, you can just go your usual pentatonic licks and then go into the Dorian sounds. Or whatever you want to do. <laughs> okay, so. That's how we're gonna practice it. That's your first scale shape. Let's move on to the second one. So where we'd have our pentatonic shape two, we now need to add the Dorian scale, okay? So it's gonna look like this, okay? So we're gonna come back and start on the seventh fret. So seven, eight, 10, okay? Then at this point, we're gonna do seven and then nine. There's your F sharp again. So there's your Dorian note. 10, seven, nine, ten, okay. Then we're gonna do seven, nine, that's all we need there, okay. Then we're gonna hit the F sharp on the seventh fret. Okay, F sharp, so there's a Dorian note. Ten, uh, sorry, eight, ten, and again, seven, eight, ten, okay. So the whole scale shape looks like this. There's your 
Dorian notes. There's your other Dorian notes. Back down. Okay, so again here what we want to do is play the pentatonic shape 2 because that's where we are. And then play the Dorian scale shape. Targeting that F sharp. See how it really jumps out at you, doesn't it? That note as being as being a different sound. Okay. So there's shape two. Let's look at shape three. Uh, remember pentatonic shape three to start with. And now again we're going to do our Dorian thing. Okay, so let's just go through this. So we start really with pentatonic on the first string, so just 10 to 12, okay? Then we grab our first Dorian note. There's the F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, okay? Then we're gonna go E, F sharp, there's your Dorian note, G, then we're going to hit the A, so we're back on the root note. B, C, D, E. Okay, and we're going to stop there. You can grab the F sharp at the top here, but we're going to leave that for the next scale shape. Okay, so we've got this. And back down. And again, as you go through it, try and target that F sharp. So we've got F sharp there, F sharp there, so there, and of course your root note is the A. Okay. So it's crucially important, guys, as you go through this, that you're constantly targeting the F sharp because that's your Dorian note, that's your raised six. Plus, you're also hitting the A root note because that's you know defines the sound of this scale. So within each of these shapes, there's going to be a whole bunch of A notes, and they're of course your root notes. So we're going to learn all those three shapes again. Do pentatonic followed by Dorian on all three shapes. Get them learned, and next time we'll learn the last two shapes.